How do you sing louder? A lot of singers resort to pushing and shoving. And sure, it sounds louder, but it also sounds bad and it's very hard on the body. I want you to learn to sing louder without strain. Be a smart and healthy singer. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 30 years of teaching voice, 42 years of studying voice, all different styles. I take serious vocal technique and make it simple and fun. I like my students to be smart singers. So this is why I go into such detailed technique in my videos. The more you know what you're doing, the more choices you will have, the more consistent and healthy your singing will be. So to get louder without strain, we need to master the three elements of singing, respiration, phonation, and resonation. We need all three. So watch my video on the elements of great singing. In this video, we're going to go quickly through them and then we're going to do two exercises to tie it all together. Number one, respiration. Your breath and your breath management must be efficient because remember, it's the breath that comes up and causes the vocal folds to vibrate efficiently. So if you take too much breath, too little breath, or the wrong kind of breath, the vocal folds are not going to vibrate freely. Your breath is your motor. Your breath support is your regulator that helps to close the vocal folds efficiently. Now remember, your vocal folds are tiny and the sound that comes directly from the vocal folds is very weak. So let me ask you this. Would you rather put the work on your tiny vocal folds or on the big muscles that can help you? See my playlist on breathing and breath support. Second element of singing, phonation. This is the way the vocal folds open and close. If they are too loose and floppy, then your voice is going to be weak. But if you're leaking air, meaning they don't even close properly, then your voice is going to be breathy. Either way, you're not going to have much power. So if these are issues for you, watch my videos on the weak voice and also on the breathy voice. So to get louder, we have to have clean closure, meaning the vocal folds do seal. And if you want to get even louder, meaning more intensity, then we need firmer closure, more like clapping. But what we don't want is banging because that's too much collision and friction and is going to cause problems. No pushing. You always want to feel that you have this free flow of sound like this. Ah, 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 not, huh. you see, that's grunting. Huh. Sure, you might be able to get a few notes out with pushing, but you're not going to last very long. Watch my videos on singing with more power and volume. The third element which we must have to sing louder without strain is resonance. Resonance amplifies and enriches the voice. Learn to sing big on resonance and you will have more carrying power. Learn to work on those high frequencies, which gives your voice the ping, the ring and cut with more carrying power. What do you think one of the loudest instruments in an orchestra is? A lot of people say the big instruments like the tuba or the timpani, but actually it's the tiny piccolo, the tiny little flute because of those high frequencies. What about a tiny bird that wakes you up in the morning with that high pitched chirping? Why can a baby cry for hours and hours and not get hoarse and be heard all over your house, even next door because of those high frequencies? Now, I don't care if you are singing with a mic with your band or you're a soloist without amplification in a 3000 seat opera house. If you want more sound without pushing, master resonance. Learn how to sing with more intensity and excitement without the push, 
watch all of my videos on resonance and on ring. I always include the links in the description below. Now, if your voice is tight, meaning you have a tight throat, tight jaw, tight tongue, tight neck, you need to work on relieving that tension because that's going to get worse if you try to sing louder. So watch my videos on throat, jaw, and tongue tension. Now remember, you must have targeted exercises that help with whatever your vocal issue is. You notice I always have targeted exercises in my videos. So if you have not yet gotten Victoria's Victoria's vocal exercise program where I give you tons of targeted exercises, whatever you need, be sure to see the instructions below. Okay, it's time for our two exercises where we're going to put everything together. So first, I want you to sustain a pitch by humming, either like this, or high voices can be up here, space between the molars, please, humming. So let's do it. Good. Your second choice, an N, like this. Third choice can be NG. And I want you to feel which one gives you the most zing and ping in the bridge of your nose and in your cheekbones. So let's do it. Or, or, I know for me, I like NG. Pick which you like best. Now, we're going to do that same exercise, but we're going to increase in volume. And I want you to notice what you feel as you get louder and think about how you got louder. So it will either be or or and you can do it low or high. Here we go. We'll do it three times. What did you feel? What happened? To get louder, a little bit more airflow, yes. More resistance in the midsection, your support muscles, more resistance, and more zing ping, more intensity, okay? Let's do it again. Now, exercise two, we're going to apply to a vowel and I choose the E vowel. So it's going to be like this. Or. Or. Let's do it. Are you getting this? Do you feel the difference in the sensations when you get louder? This should feel easy in the throat. Then take the same exercise and apply it to the other vowels, knowing that some vowels are going to be easier than others. Following that, you take the parts of your song that you want to be loud and you apply the same exercise to those areas. This is the beauty of targeted exercises applied to your songs. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. Master your respiration, phonation, and resonation for more powerful and beautiful singing. Anyone can shout, but to sing louder with freedom takes technique. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victorious Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up, and enjoy your powerful and free singing. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.